Welcome back, you beautiful people. For all my Canadian friends, I hope you're enjoying the long weekend. For all my international friends, I hope you're enjoying your regular weekend. Nonetheless, today we're talking about cleaning your DSLR camera sensor. Roll intro. <laughs> USB Tape Bandana Unpop popcorn You know what, come to think of it, I actually don't need any of that stuff. Can you just pass me the cleaning kit? Are you serious, Daniel? Thank you. So before we dive into cleaning your camera, you're gonna need this bad boy right here. Camera cleaning kit, and let me tell you, it is full of goodies, and I think everybody should have one. Inside we got, oh, check this out. Yeah, it's uh, just some giant microfiber cloth, a couple of them. Just great for cleaning your lens or even your camera body, whatever you want. You've got your turkey baster, because you know, if you have to baste the turkey or maybe clean the inside, it's perfect. Makeup brushes. Actually, they're like for cleaning your camera, so keep these bad boys. You've got your lens cleaner and uh, sensor cleaner. I'm gonna spritz this on, we'll get back to that later. You've got your little sensor cleaning swabs. These are important. And you've got your inspector gadget, flashlight, brush, sensor lens cleaner thing. Also cool to have. This one I'd actually like just keep in your, in your camera bag. It's got like a sweet little, yes, all right. And lens tissue paper. I've never used this. Don't know what it is, but seems cool. Keep it there. The first thing you wanna do before you dive into your camera is make sure that your operating table is clean. If this thing is full of dust, you might as well just go clean your camera at a playground with kids running around kicking up sand and <laughs> Once you're confident your table's clean, there's a couple things you gotta do. Turn on your camera first and foremost. Make sure you got a charged battery because a lot of cameras actually won't even let you do this step unless you have a charged battery. Go into your menu, find under the settings somewhere that says like mirror lock or sensor cleaning and what you're gonna wanna do is lock your sensor up. Listen to this. That was the noise of the mirror locking up so that you can get to the sensor. Now, after you're finished cleaning, you can turn off your camera to make the mirror go back. What we're gonna do is open up our camera now and right in there you can see you have direct access to the sensor. Now I'm using my like old school Canon T3i in case I something up, I whatever, but just be careful when you're using your own camera and try not to get any more dust in it than there already is. Take your camera, hold that bad boy upside down, okay? Make sure that hole's facing down. The sensor hole's facing down. And then you're gonna grab your sweet ass turkey baster and just start pumping that dust out. Just a couple blows here and there. That sounded wrong. Um, obviously you're gonna keep it down so the dust falls out. If you're doing this right side up and blowing dust and you're just recycling dust in there and then that's just pretty stupid so just be better than that. Alright, once you're done blowing out like the initial dust, get rid of the turkey baster and we're gonna move on to the uh, V-swabs. What a weird ass name, V-swabs. That sounds like a, some sort of instrument for preventing STDs. Anyway, at this point you've gotten your camera, the majority of the dust out of there, let's hope. You're gonna lay it down on your clean surface and you're gonna operate. Here's where you're gonna bust out your V-swabs. Now this kit comes with like, I think three or four of them. Maybe more, probably like five or six. And you're gonna wanna keep this thing clean. The minute this thing gets dirty, it's like cleaning a dirty shoe with more dirt. Like it just doesn't make sense, so keep it clean. Bust this open, hey now. It's like a little sponge. Don't touch it, you get your finger grease all over there and you're just doing more damage than good. Then you're gonna bust out your cleaning solution and away from your camera, not right over. That seems like common sense, but you know, common sense is not so common. Spray, one spray on one side, or two sprays. One or two sprays on the other side. Just get it a little bit wet, not too dirty. And then you're gonna dive right in. Now carefully, you're gonna stick this bad boy right into your camera like you're playing an operation or something. Don't touch the sides. And you're gonna swab it from one side to the other, flip it over, and do the same process again just to get anything left over. So, here we go.
Woo! That was nerve wracking. Once you've done that, you gotta throw this little out because it's dirty and like I said, you're cleaning dirty shoe with more dirt and that's just gonna make your camera worse if anything. See ya. All right, and it's honestly just as simple as that. When you're done with that, put your lens cap back on or whatever lens you had on there before and you're good to go. It's actually a lot easier and a lot less nerve wracking than I made it out to be. It's pretty quick, just honestly take your time do it right the first time and you're good. So thanks for watching ladies and gents. Hit that like button if this was helpful. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Fun fact, if you subscribe to my channel, cleaning your camera becomes 29% easier. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.